21. Universal Orlando has opened their own Jurassic World tribute store over in Universal Studios, Florida. Let's head in and check it out. I got ACU equipment out here, Asset Containment Union. Oh, wow. This is pretty cool. I, they're setting all this up just for the opening of Velocicoaster in under a week and a half, I think? June 10th. They got tons of props and stuff like that. They got more ACU, asset control unit stuff all over the place. And tons of Jurassic World Velocicoaster merchandise. Oh, look at this control. This is what it looked like for the safety video right before you board at Velocicoaster. This is what was on the screens, but like they were using it as a prop. Oh, they got little dinosaurs over here. Does anybody remember this little toy from the very first Jurassic Park movie? Nedry. The guy who basically shut down the entire system. They got the Velociraptors, they got Blue, they got Charlie, they got a T-Rex down here. It looks like a Funko Pop T-Rex. And they got the <laughs> Grabber T-Rex <laughs> T-shirt. Chaos happens, that's for sure. Ooh, they got little Jurassic Park backpacks. That's pretty cool. Tank top, Funko Pop of the Indoraptor. Ooh, I like these socks down here. Okay, here's the mold machine again for the tribute store. They had a mold machine for almost every single tribute store since the Halloween one. This one can make a T-Rex for six bucks. Oh, there it is. Machine only takes one and five bills. No change will be given. So bring your ones and your fives and get a Tyrannosaurus Rex mold. All right, here's a quick overview of the first room. The next room is mostly raptor stuff. They got a ton of raptor merchandise. They got two raptors back here, one right here staring right at you. And they even have the raptor containment units that they used in the very first movie to transport raptors from their paddock to somewhere else. It's that very first scene in the very first Jurassic Park when they're trying to move one into the paddock that they have in the first movie and something happens and one of the guys gets sucked into the crate and eaten alive by a velociraptor. And we're in the raptor paddock with the raptors because it's surrounded by that electric fence that they had in the first movie and in Jurassic World. And then the little partitions where they have clothes are where they would actually transport the raptors into the paddock. A lot of the merchandise that's in this room can be found over at the exit of uh, River Adventure and over at the exit of the Velocicoaster. It's a lot of the same stuff that they have at both those. I'm guessing that's gonna change in the next room. There'll be a lot more merchandise to look from because they even have like the long sleeve, the blue long sleeve that I really like for uh, Universal Studios.
room we got the hallway that's always got random decorations but it's always very well lit in here it's pointing us over to the visitor center and they're playing like the sad music that's always at the end of the first Jurassic Park and Jurassic World all right time to head into the laboratory sorry <clears throat> laboratory mm, sorry something in my throat Oh, this is cool. I mean, these are always cool. I love all of these. Oh, just like in the first Jurassic World movie, it looks like everything's overgrown the original Jurassic Park laboratory and control room. And I got Jurassic Park merch. Oh, they got the original, like the maps. They got a fedora. Dr. Grant's fedora? Dr. Grant's, yeah. It's very Indiana Jones like. Oh, and they got the Barbasol can that opens up the bottom in the first movie with Nedry and Dotson. Is that what his name was? Dotson? See, nobody cares. Oh, and there. They got Mr. DNA coffee mugs for 15 bucks. They got fanny packs over here for $26, Mr. DNA. They got more Mr. DNA shirts. This is the $30 one. This is the yellow one that is $27. This is the one that I got. I got, maybe this is Nedry's rain jacket after he got <laughs> spit on and eaten in the first Jurassic Park movie. I got tank tops, backpacks. This is from very early in the first Jurassic Park when they were actually turning over those eggs. And then a few seconds later, they had a Velociraptor hatch right in front of them. Okay, quick overview of this one really quick for you. As a reminder, this entire room is just Jurassic Park merchandise. Everything in here, Jurassic Park, except for the Mr. DNA. Mr. DNA stuff is kind of new and technically, but still, 99% of the merchandise in this room is all Jurassic Park. This is the embryo cold storage where Nedry went in during the system failure of the first Jurassic Park, and he lifted this embryo chamber and stole as many as he could get. He tried to get off the island. I've never done these molds for any of the tribute stores, but this one's hilarious. It literally has Mr. DNA on it, and he's saying, bingo, Dano DNA. This is so great. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next room. This room is where all the treats are. This is usually where they have them, all the different treats that they have for each tribute store. But we start with this entry right here, Gentle Diet. I do love it because it's an update on the older Jurassic Park signage, but it's for Jurassic World. And check her out. This Triceratops is beautiful. Hopefully she's not sick. It'd be crazy if they had the Triceratops from Triceratops Encounter that they used to have here in the Jurassic Park area and it would move around and it would puff out like it was breathing. You'd go up and meet it and touch its horns. 
This one's not moving, which is fine because it's still beautiful. I know she doesn't move, but she's very, very beautiful. And if she did move, I would probably drop my camera and scream. She heard me. Next up, we got the Treat Outpost. This is where they actually have a lot of their candies and chocolates and... All right, so there's a Velocicoaster apple. It's covered in blue. It's got a little Velocicoaster like emblem on it. They got a Jurassic World Whoopie Pie, Marshmallow Pop, Cupcake, Lava Flow Fudge, Chocolate PB, Peanut Butter, sorry, Fudge, uh, Chocolate Fudge, Salted Caramel Fudge, and Birthday Cake Fudge. The Marshmallow Pop actually looks really good. Next up is the Fossilized Amber. This is what makes Jurassic Park happen. Ooh, it looks just like the fossilized amber that they dig up in the very first Jurassic Park movie. Unlike the last couple of areas where they had these, like the, um, the one where it was the skull and it would like open and close its mouth, or the heart where it would beat, these ones are just kind of sitting here. They also don't look appetizing at all. Alright, here's the entire menu, so if you actually want to see the prices, pause the video here. So last up they have the egg nursery. So this looks just like they had over in Jurassic Park. And they have little eggs like this, they're different shapes, sizes, they got different designs on them. And inside is a chocolate dinosaur. They have Triceratops, a couple others, but it's $18. That's right, $18 for a chocolate dinosaur. There's even merchandise for the not yet released or announced date for Jurassic World Dominion. It's the third movie in the Jurassic World trilogy that's supposed to come out, I think, next summer. But yeah, they got a ton of merchandise. They got all the ice cold Coca-Cola stuff you could ever want. All right, headed towards the exit. And there's a bunch of posters for attractions. These ones already exist. So the actual River Adventure Teardown Flyers. This one only exists in Hollywood. And this one, I really hope this means that the Indominus Rex is coming to the River Adventure here in Orlando, just like it already exists in Hollywood. And there's Mr. Hammond. The man himself. And that's it for the Jurassic World Tribute Store. Thank you so much for watching. What do you call twin dinosaurs? Paradactyls.